Hi, my name is Gary Levi, and I'm going to be the instructor of this course. I work as a penetration tester since seven years, and I try to put my experience into courses such as this one to help people learn faster than I did. In this course, we are going to learn about the Rotary 2 reverse engineering framework. It's an open source alternative to IDA Pro. I started to work with it because I think nobody's going to buy IDA Pro unless their employers pay for it. So if you need something to quickly start reversing, then Rotary 2 is a perfect free alternative. It's all the disadvantages is that it's pretty hard to start working with it. And that's where this course comes in. My goal was to get you through this hard part really fast so that you can explore the rest of the tool later by yourself. So these are the few things you're going to learn in this course. Setting up Rotary, understanding its syntax, understanding its configuration, gathering information about the binary, navigating inside the binary, using cross-references, runtime debugging, and patching the binary. However, there are a few things that are not goals of this course. We're going to focus on the tool itself and not on assembly. So this is not an assembly course. It's okay if you don't understand everything we are going to look at in the assembly language. That's fine. But don't expect to learn assembly just in a few hours. We are going to learn a few reverse engineering techniques, but we are not going to learn everything. I'm just telling you this because I don't want you to be disappointed at the end. So I would like you to know what to expect from this course. However, what you're definitely going to learn is how to use Rotary 2. So in the future, if you quickly need to analyze a binary, you can pull up Rotary from your sleeves and get on with it. All exercises are hands-on, so you're expected to repeat the exercises yourself. I've done quite a lot of trainings, live or online, and I can tell you that without actually practicing, it's not really going to stick. This is a really practical training, so I encourage you to do the exercises yourself, because just by watching the videos, you will have the illusion that you learn something, but the actual learning happens when you do the exercises. With that said, we are almost ready to set up our test environment, but first I will have to give you the compulsory disclaimer of every ethical hacking course. So see you in the next lecture, and happy hacking! Bye!